Remember, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, took a little squante, sprint and sweat, good luck. Good. Potential sweet times for Gary Russell Jr., which Scandone will try to derail. Scandone did his best work at 122 pounds, and so now he's up at 126. In fact, uh, 135. Get off his head. weighed in tonight. Made the weight at 125 and three quarters yesterday. He came up nine. Russell came up five. Russell, a good body puncher, and in his last two fights, showing good two fisted power and combinations to take out his opponents. Keep him up, Gag. For the right uppercut and hook was Russell. Don't pull him down. Jab by Russell, the uppercut. Looping right hook by Russell. Nice uppercut by. Russell again. The first two minutes, it's Escondone trying to get close, but it's Russell determining the distance of where this fight occurs. Double left hand here by Russell. Good two shots by Russell. Nice combination by Russell. As Condon keeps coming for more. He tries to work the body himself. Good uppercut by Russell again. Time! Hey, Gary Russell dodges one. And then lands one, even though it wasn't to the head, and then those two were to the head. Second round action, Gary Russell Jr., Oscar Escondon, defending his 126 pound belt. Good body shots from Russell. Doesn't really want to be that kind of a target. Get close enough that he could drill him on the way in. Strategy. Get off his head, Gary. The Russell uppercuts, then a right hook. Body by Russell. Right hand by Escondon. Into round three, <laughs> Gary Russell Jr., Oscar Escondon. Keep him up, keep him up. Good right hook, and that's a knockdown. Wow. Russell caught Escondon Six. coming in, Seven. and Escondon is Eight. in trouble. There's a lot of time that can be filled here. 
Russell nailed him with a right hook, and then the gloves touched the canvas. Now Russell, when he gets opponents like this, is a good finisher. Good right hook by Russell again. Escondone should be trying to tie him up, but he's not. And he takes two more as he backs up. Russell trying to unload the big shots and maintain his posture. Just missed with a big right hook and fell himself. As Condone just bought 10 precious seconds of a break. Right hook by Russell. Making a bid to close the show. As Condone is complying with that by coming forward. Russell tags him three times. Nice left hand by Russell. Still time for Russell in this round. Good body shot by Russell, but Harvey Dock says. Nice up by Russell. It's Gondone whose credit has been able to stay in this long after he looked quite hurt from that knockdown. Good flurry by Russell. And again, he gets to Escondo. That's on his foot for good measure. Now the question in the corner is if Escondo has another round like this, some decisions to make about him staying in this fight. Here's where Russell put him to the canvas, a sweet right hook and then the gloves touch. Any, any part other than your shoes on the canvas and it's a knockdown. Good strong left hand as he kept on with the power shots. Right hook by Russell even though he's backing up and then he darts at Escondone. The Russell show continues here. Look at the leverage, look at the power generating through the hips. How much extra time did that buy as Condone? Another minute. Well, if you can do it and get away with it. Still a section where there's in the ring, but it's not where they're fighting, behind the ropes. Russell with an explosive third round. Escondo, his corner, cajoling a two-minute break. Escondo walking right into the path of trouble. Russell with a right hook that he's methodical in his attack here. Right up to the body from Escondone. For Escondone, forget about trying to look pretty in this round. It's a matter of can he extend it. Come lefty, he's looking out. He's a crowd. Punch is low. Keep him up, both of you. Good work from Russell. Escondone has been trying to smother Russell. Russell not doing quite as much this round. They're also ground three. Escondone, double jab, right hand. Trying to smother Gary Russell Jr. Does a good job here putting some work in there. And we go into round five. Gary Russell Jr. and Oscar Escondon. Russell had a knockdown in round three. Nearly closed it. Escondon able to rally in round four. Stop, 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 stop. And this time it's Russell warned about the keeping his hands up. 
Gascon Thorn is getting some tactical ground on the inside. He launches attack, now he's trying to intimidate. who's happy to sit back along the ropes, try to get Escondon coming in. So some rapid fire shots by Escondon, they don't get in, and then Russell fires the uppercuts on the inside. Again by Russell. Down then come on top. And it was Gary Russell Jr. doing a lot of good work in this sequence as he won the last round. Landed the right hook, kept the pressure on in front, and fought where he wanted to have the fight waged. Go. Into round six we go. Both losses by split decision. He was nearly knocked out for the first time when Russell dropped him in round three. as a slight reach advantage, so it seemed on the outside to dictate much. Russell has been content with his 32-year-old opponent coming straight to him. Well, this is, right now, this is grunt warfare. In front of each other, just reaching down, trying for a little bit more, trying to win via attrition. Good shots by Russell, then an uppercut, nice uppercut by Russell. Here's another opportunity for him. Nice right hook by Russell. Good right hand by Escondon. by Escondone, Russell answers with the uppercuts. Up on the halfway point of this one. They were in tight with the head being pushed down and the punch is going to go low. When you push your opponent's head down, you're going to receive a low blow. But Russell didn't see it that way. He responded with going high. Uppercut, good uppercut then getting the power into his shots. Look at all the power being generated through those hips. All right, the second half of this one underway, Gary Russell Jr. and Oscar Escondone. Guys, grunt warfare. Keep on that track. Open jab for Russell. And some good explosiveness from Russell. And that one hurt Escondone, that last right hook to the temple area. Can Escondone survive this? No, he can't. He has stopped for the first time in his career. Right hook to the temple area with everything on it. Devoured his smaller foe. That's the shot, the right hook to the temple. That's the one that changed everything. See how the legs are wobbling? Now you might be okay a minute or so from then, but at that moment, you're in that window of weakness, and that's what the referee is there for. 
59 seconds in round number seven. A referee in charge, Harvey Dock, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the WBC featherweight champion of the world, Mr. Gary Russell Jr.